Okay, this is part two of the Hitachi Hyphonic. I figured it out. Uh, it's got bad, dirty switches, which we got to clean. And uh, this is what we got. There's the cold part. Turn that on. That light acts as a tuning thing. I don't know how am I going to hold this one. You hold it down. And you tune it. I can't do this. It gets brighter when you tune it. It's pretty cool. All right, let's do. Uh... Used in the Bible, and uh, after contrition talks about the pains of hell. So I would, I would just like to know more about hell. Sure. Um. Thank you. So hell is the state of permanent separation from God. Uh, and that from the soul, because there is little... in control. Oh, who's on my property? I mean, imagine stretching that out to eternity, right? Ugh. You're never getting the thing that you're made for. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. The pain of loss, mm -hmm. that, that distance and alienation from God is our true good, is the principal pain of hell. Now, uh, before Jesus comes back, until Jesus comes back, the souls of the dead do not have bodies. That includes the souls of the righteous, and it also includes the souls of the damned. And so there can't really be pleasures or pains of sense. This is a short wave when you don't have sense organs, when you don't have the ability to touch or feel. Uh, of Christ, there will be general resurrection, the resurrection of the dead, and we will at the time. And then there will also be a pain of sense. That is the common opinion. I'm going to have to tweak these. Now, in addition to the pain of loss, there is a pain of sense. Will it entail physical fire? Don't, don't know. Doesn't really matter. Let's see. Sacred scripture, yes. For passages, Matthew 5 talks about it. Uh, Silver mica disease, as Shango uh, 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 066 would say. Talks about it. Uh, Matthew 25, These are uh, actually Micah. Uh, the 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 uh, are are they, are they, uh, it sounds really good. Don't know. Um, in terms of its physical location, I think uh, by our best estimate, it's the physical location for health. Uh, Matthew 25. Receiver's really hot. In a moment, we'll be talking with. It's picking up something. If it's got a flutter, it's skip coming in. And I, again, I'm not, I'm not doing the percentages anymore. We're in this to win it, and we're fighting till the end. But if we don't win this fight, I will certainly miss. Just having a president who will say things like that, you know, we can say Merry Christmas. I hate this whole, don't say these things to people, you know, I say Merry Christmas to Mark, you know, somebody who's celebrating Christmas per se, and he can say Happy Hanukkah to me, and I know that these are exchanges of goodwill. I don't care what you all say out there, this world is so corrupted, I don't care you say 
Happy Hanukkah, Hockey, 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 Merry Christmas, whatever. Well, in America, we say Merry Christmas, and I don't know what everybody else is trying to say. You know, they're trying to take away our Christmas. Anyways, enough of that politic crap. Well, I gotta get some deoxit, some spray, which uh, I got some right here. A little bit left, but I got another can, brand new can of it. A little uh, good old deoxidant uh, stuff. This is the good stuff here. Spray the uh, switches. The other one here. Give her a little squirt. And uh, the battery compartment too, because it's. It's safe to do this because it takes all the acid, burns it away. Okay. Now, something else was kind of like funky. But, okay, now we can turn it back on. Picking up my phone, listen. It's crazy. Now, where's uh, see, you know, notice that no one ever said that. What's an octopus? I don't know. They'd like it to be just a more. The problem is, is that's actually called a quota, and quotas are actually unconstitutional. Quotas are not allowed. But so, so they always keep it amorphous. They keep it amorphous for a reason. They, they can't tell you because they want to always continue this agitation for we, we were never diverse enough. And even if we got to the to a place where you have have direct representation as a, as a percentage within the population, that's a quota. That's a problem. Epic earring event. What woman doesn't love a nice pair of the hour? Have the what do have any value at all? Or um, that's why it is a dilemma. Yes. Oh, you're wonderful. Time. You're wonderful. Thank you so much. What a beautiful question. First of all, uh, the question well, didn't have any value. Going. Be Here at Flutter, it's probably like a North Carolina, South Carolina station. We're on AM, and it's running off the bar antenna. It's got a good-sized bar antenna. Where's all the oldies or something? That's the needle right here. seeing a quiet riot on our roads this evening as we're checking the interstate and seeing no delays in either direction of 95 as you're moving throughout the county. Traffic continues to move all along the coast on A1A as you're moving from 192 through the beach line. Got a nice ride heading to the interstate as you're moving on the beach line and 520. Truck no more delays on light. US 1 or Palm Bay Road. See traffic troubles? Call the traffic tip line at 866-676-8477. From the traffic center, I'm AJ Springer. WMMB weather is your anchor with the forecast. Clear to partly cloudy and chilly over to high low 43. Tuesday mostly sunny and cool. High 60. Clear cold weather Tuesday night low 38. The record is 35. Oh, I guess us Floridians are going to be having icicles on our noses. The rain forecast overnight. Wind northwest 8 to 16 knots Tuesday. Seas 2 to 4 feet. A moderate to rough chop. Like fancy oldies, I think. From the 
I was surprised you only hear Christmas music on this AM dial. That's weird, I touched this thing in the back. Change the frequencies. See, it's hard to do crap with one hand, you know, it's just... In Central Florida, visit nvhs.org. The Sentinel Group sponsors this paid advertisement for legal services and is responsible okay. for legal services. Attention, have you or a loved one been diagnosed with cancer after using Zantac or other heartburn medications for several months? The uh, FDA that's great, that we're all going to die, even our uh, ANS are going to die. We're going to die from... With cancer -causing agent this thing does not like to be put down. These things are... This is out of alignment. Well, ladies and gentlemen, oh, this is it. And uh, I'm going to have to probably put some more uh, spray in then these little connectors. I'll have to clean it up afterwards. I mean, it's... Uh, there we go. And spray that in here a little bit. The gears. Okay. I don't have nothing on it right now. Volume. That's not static at all. To pass the pains of purgatory, to be more quickly received into heaven, that's always efficacious. When you put it down, I don't like it. I'm gonna uh, hook a wire up, see if I get short wave. This is. Put this up over here. See so if we pick up short wave. Oh, here we go. Short wave. This is uh, up here. Ah, there he is, Alex Jones. He's on this radio. Welcome, Alex Jones.
cash on him, no name. Now that was in Reuters. Wow. George Soros smiling. I'm only running a little. This is my Tesla wire. This is a short wave right now. And they went after judicial watch saying it was made up. It's like saying, Jones is wearing a navy blue blazer. And I am wearing a navy blue blazer. And then later I go, no, I'm not. And go, Fox News apologized for saying Jones was wearing a navy blue blazer. Yeah, there it is. George Soros, MasterCard, to partner and aid migrant refugees. Well, the short then wave works really good. We cover it. But the reason they were pissed is a bunch of those operatives are skipping. All right, well, oh, came to a conclusion that this is actually, I was getting uh, WWCR, Nashville, Tennessee, off this test lead wire there's nothing wrong with the radio whatsoever it's in the battery compartment something is rusted uh, there's a couple wires in here I think it's got to be uh, these uh, slugs got to be tuned I gotta I gotta get my uh, plastic tool and I gotta mark which area that was left at as you can see peak the coils up a little bit I don't want to go too crazy. I don't want to ruin this radio. I mean, this is a really nice radio. It's very unique. Um, it's it's definitely Japanese. You can tell by the cans. There's your audio coil right there. That's your transformer. There's the cap right next to it right here. It's, yeah, it looks okay. There's the other germanium diode right there. Or transistor, I'm sorry. Yeah, there's two of them. One there, one there, there. One over there, 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 there. There, 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 there. This one there. There's five, six, eight, actually eight. Wait, one, two. Wait, one, two. Three, four, five, six. There's seven. Seven transistors in this radio. That's that's a lot. It's got very good sensitivity. On AM, I just uh, clicked the AM on there. Holy smokes! I was picking up all kinds of. Even some skip was coming in. I heard some something fluttering in there. And then I went to the short wave and hooked up a uh, one of my test leads. I got WWCR on it, uh, Nashville, Tennessee on it. Oh, there goes my. So this is. Uh, I thought it was a battery for because it looks like it's ground. But uh, this is going to be a bear to put back together. Ugh, so it's got to be back on this case over here, if I can find it. It's got to go... Look, here's the antenna hole. It's got to go right there. When you put it down, you got to put this in there, and that connects it and tightens it in. Jesus, this is going to be a pain in the ass. Excuse my language. I would like to convert this to DC as well, but it's got to be clean. There's like a spot that you could just take. Yeah, someone's been in here once upon a time. You see some solder, a little bit of green in right there. I hate to, I really hate to take this whole bottom apart. I, I just work in the uh, deoxid. Thing I got gloves on. I don't. I hate touching that freaking acid. I, you know, I used to make fun of people. Oh, why, why the hell are they wearing gloves? Why wear gloves? No, I see why. You don't want. You know, because even if you touch all this stuff, if that whack brings it out of whack, and uh, I was gonna take the bottom tray out, but I have I'm just having this hunch I should take it off, but um I don't know. So anyways, uh it's working. It had some issues with the switches. I had a I had a deox the switches. We got a good shot right about there. There we go. 
the gear, nice gearing, no plastic. This is a well-built radio, very impressed. It's a very well-built radio. And uh, I couldn't believe I just got WWCR out of uh, short wave on this thing with a little piece of wire from my one of my test leads. Look at that, that's that's really cool, man. I never seen a steel gear tuning gear for the uh, tuning capacitor right there. There's a there's one right right there. That's the tuning capacitor, and that's th those right there is the peak. You got peak the coils or whatever. And these wires, boy, I tell you, they're like cat whiskers. But I'm going to spray this down. And uh, it doesn't look that bad, really. But it does have a, has a little hiccup in there. When you put it down, it cuts right out. I'm, ha I'm having this hunch here. I have to take this tray out. This uh, comes out. There's screws here and here and then inside. And right there where the... Can I get my uh, screwdriver, where the hell, oh, one of them anyways, right about here, there's uh, right there, right in here, right here somewhere, right in there, yeah, I believe there's some corrosion in that tray. And there's a wire right in here somewhere, right on the side. It's 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 weird. It's hot on each side, and this is this is supposed to be hot going straight across. This way is actually ground. I don't understand how this is wired. But that's why I want to take this off. And uh, yeah, so this just so it just needs some little help, I guess. But I like to convert it to a DC as well. Um, I can always put like a little uh, reducer, like a capacitor in there or something to... I don't want to overvolt this. I, I, I had it on one volt on my power supply. I got a variable power supply over here. And I would have to hook it, take this out <coughs> and find the negative and positive leads and I can hook it up. I, I'd like to have it battery powered, but how often do you use battery power braids? But Yes, you should because you have emergency, you got a portable radio. But there's got to be a way that I could still keep the batteries and put a connector in there. I was thinking about. Oh, geez. Don't tell me I lost that connector. Oh, here it is. Oh, there goes all my stuff, but oh well. It's a connector like this. I got it out of an old CB radio, or it's, it's like a speaker jack. All you got to do is drill that kind of a hole that size, and you put that end in there. Then you tighten this nut, and then you run the wire down somewhere in here, and then put it like a uh, a uh, rectifier diode, like a one in. 1N001 in between this and that so this way you put it the um, uh, one way so this way here it won't drain your uh, batteries so you have battery and AC or I mean AC you got DC right here there's like a plug right in here somewhere right there I could just drill a little hole there I try not to defend. I'm not a big fan of drilling anything on a radio or if I could just get it like right there, that would be perfect. And then right through the case, just take that wing nut off. There's a, there's a there's like a nut thing here. You put it in there, tighten that up, and, the, and on the outside, there you go. And you got your negative, there's your outer, and, and plus is your center. So, this is the old Hahadachi. I'll touch you, 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 I'll now I'm going to have to uh, do a little tweaking, and I have to take all this out and put it all back together and figure out how to put this 
short wave antenna back onto the rod there because I want to put that on there because I usually put it on my amplifier up, up there on my bench and then uh, put it on the outside antenna and this thing will go nuts I mean, it's right now it's got good receive I mean, that's why they call it radar tuning and you, you hit that button you can see the thing tune there's a button here and um, well I like I say guys I'm sorry this is like uh, Trying to do a thing with what, but you know, I wish I had all the things like a, like a tripod. I got to go get a tripod or something. But um, so basically, if you got an old radio, you got to make sure this is all clean. I just cleaned it with deoxid. It was totally, totally green. There's a little bit green left in here, but I deoxid it, scraped it with the, you know, scrape it with a screwdriver. Get in there, even a little sandpaper or something, which I'm gonna do later. As long as I got it running, so I'm just happy of that there. So, and then I have to look at these coils. I think they're a little funky here. There's something going on with that. Maybe they need to be tightened just a little bit. There's little screws that holds it down. Come on, focus, damn it. There it is. See those little Phillip heads right there? It could be loose because when I dropped it down, the station flickered out kind of flickered. <laughs> Gotta love that word. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to end it right here. And uh, this is part two. I might have a part three. And uh, so if you just fall on what's going on here. I'm just new at this, you know, doing the filming. I usually do this without even... This is like, you know, first time thing, like getting on a bike and trying to do this with one hand, you know. But... But anyways, this this radio is a def, definitely a keeper, and it's just unique. You've seen how unique it is, and it's very well designed. I'm really impressed with the tuning gear and all that. But anyways, folks, uh, appreciate your watching. If if you wanted to subscribe, just subscribe. You don't, you don't. This is for my own my hobby, my pleasure to watch it and just get a couple giggles and thrills and whatever. Anyways, 7-3 uh, to everybody out there, and a Merry Christmas. It's uh, ho, ho, ho season. I could say that because I'm American. You know, I live in, in the United States. I could say whatever I want. Merry Christmas, all, and uh, we'll keep you updated on this radio. 7-3.